Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today what I wanted to show you is just how do you harvest your cut and come again lettuces and talk about what that is. You can see that I'm growing my mescaline mix that I sell in my seed shop in a flower box only about four inches deep. You can grow your greens this way very tightly together, but you do have to harvest them when they get to this height. And cut and come again really means you are just going to take scissors and you're going to cut your greens down. Leave the root system in there. Let's get a good mix here so I can have a nice salad for dinner. And this is all you do. There's kale in here, lettuces, um, spinach, mustard greens, and this is a mix. You just leave them in there just like that. They will grow new leaves and you can cut them again. And lettuces are cool weather crops. They're going to keep coming coming back while the weather is cool. But once it gets up into the 80s and it stays warm, they tend to bolt and they're going to flower. And you've got to wait again until the fall to plant them. This is just one variety of lettuce. And you would do the same thing. You're just cutting the leaves off. And you can see a nice amount of baby greens. Okay, let's move over to the spinach and a different lettuce. Okay, here's my spinach. Again, grown in a shallow flower box and you're just gonna come in and cut the spinach off just like that. And you can put it right into your bowl. The smaller leaves, you may not need to really cut them. Go ahead and just pick off the leaves. And again, keep the root system in the ground. If you harvest a whole lot, give them a nice drink of water-soluble fertilizer with nitrogen in it. Okay, we got more Here's to another get. variety of lettuce right down here. And I'm going to get down nice and low. And just trim the lettuce. So you don't need to grow this in the ground if you've just you know, have a small space, you can grow your greens in these flower boxes and you're going to get plenty to harvest over the cool season. Let me show you a couple more different lettuces that we're growing to full size so you can see the difference. So we had the flower boxes for cut and come again and this is my area where I'm growing the lettuce and greens to almost full size. They're spaced anywhere from four to six inches apart. But you can come and just break off the leaves of the lettuces you want this way. You don't have to let them get to full maturity, but the leaves are going to get bigger. This is a kale. Some more spinach you could take. I like the red lettuce. Okay, let's go to a completely grown head of lettuce just so you can see what that looks like. These are full heads of a variety called Sandy. It's a loose leaf oak leaf lettuce. It's an All-America Selection winner from 2015. And these heads will get 10 to 12 inches wide. And you can see the other large heads of lettuce I'm growing back there. That's a romaine. I think that might be a Simpson. But you can let the leaves get as big as you want, of course. But if you want them to get to size, you want to give them at least 4, 6, 8 inches apart. And if you're going to grow them for cut and come again or the mescaline lettuces, just scatter the seeds in a flower box or even in a row right down here. But you can go ahead and reach in break off a couple of leaves, just cut them down, and you can put them right into your salad too. Let's grab some of the red romaine. And if you're interested in joining another YouTube channel, I'm helping All America Selections build their channel. There's gonna be no ads run in front of them, so as that's built up over the season, you can go ahead there and get information you need and you're, you're not going to have to watch any ads. And it's called All America Selections Flowers and Vegetables. That's their YouTube channel I'm hosting this year. One more thing we need is we need some kale. And all the plants that I'm showing you today you can pick up at my seed shop. And if you click on the My First Vegetable Garden tab, you can find seed package deals where Seed packs are well under a dollar a pack. We're really, really discounting them. That's where my brother helps me. This is a Premier Kale. Let's just break off a leaf of that. Got some Red Russian Kale. Two leaves. Now ah, we'll just take, yeah, we'll take two. And that is all I need for a salad for dinner tonight. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
And again, please check out my seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com. Hope you enjoy harvest videos because this is why we're doing it. All this stuff is growing really nicely, really took off over the last 11 days, and now I get to enjoy this just about every day. Thanks for watching, and happy Mother's Day.